कौशिक सर शैल वी स्टार्ट ये सर ये सर या या थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर एक्सेप्टिंग दी रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम मनराज यूनिवर्सिटी एंड एंड आल्सो यू आर गोइंग टू गिव सम सेशन ऑन द एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ थ्री प्रिंटर ओके इन इंडस्ट्री एस्पेक्ट आल्सो Uh, yes. So before moving to the uh, your session, sir, I want to share your uh, short profile to the participants. Yeah. So, yeah. So thank you very much. Sir. I have uh, I have uh, also kept it in uh, my slide, but you share it. Please. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. I have no some issue. short profile have there within a short short time period, sir. Because we don't have a time. It's eleven thirty is yes. the session ending. Current, uh, current, current. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So very uh, very good morning to all. Yes, the one that has seen. Mm-hmm. very good morning to all the participants uh, and today our uh, resource person is uh, uh, kaushik maithi sir uh, he is the head of sales uh, in uh, go 3d llp innovations and also sir is uh, from the he has a vast experience in the uh, dealing with uh, uh, 3d printers uh, and mostly in indigenous 3d printers uh, which yes. is related to the engineering materials and also bio 3d printing materials and also mm-hmm. sarees visited some uh, foreign countries related to the business uh, uh, 3d printing expansions correct yeah correct. Uh, mm-hmm. so definitely we'll have a, a in depth session okay how uh, as an institutions uh, how an industry will looks like a, uh, the how it will be bridge will be filled with the industry and institutions and how in, industry will looks to the in, in institution side okay in the in the, in the sector of 3d printing so we will see very uh, in depth sites i think so thank you very much sir for accepting once again and also please uh, go ahead with your sessions yeah okay <clears throat> so good morning all uh, this is kaushik maithi and i am heading the sales division of uh, go 3d innovation llp and we are a gujarat based organization we are manufacturer of uh, industrial 3d printer as well as we are partnering and implementer of uh, multiple worldwide renowned brand like hexagon then peel 3 then uh, cell link as a bioprinter and all these things so i will start my introduction my nahi, my presentation as mother mohan sir has told my presentation will be very simple uh, presentation which will uh, in the first place will explain that uh, why additive manufacturing is important nowadays why it is uh, so useful and how uh, how uh, people can uh, get the benefit out of it as well as <clears throat> as well as the second phase i will tell that why uh, go 3d means why we are there to help it out what is our uh, vision and mission and what i want to do there are a lot of 3d printer company foreign 3d printer companies also what is our vision and mission so for presentation purpose and getting uh, better uh, bandwidth i will uh, off my video and i will share my presentation okay hope uh, everybody can uh, yes. see my yes sir screen. yes sir yes sir we are we are seeing your screen sir yeah. correct correct so just <clears throat> i will come to the first slide uh, as i told you our company's name is go go 3d innovation llp we are uh, basically a organization who are concentrating continuously into 3d innovation platform whether it is uh, and we are not only the manufacturer of 3d printer but we are into reverse engineering then bio printing and all those kind of things that is a different part altogether and uh, my profile i will tell that i have got a 15 years of uh, experience uh, in uh, implementing and selling uh, 3d printing uh, then uh, 3d scanning and additive manufacturing <coughs> products and solutions in the market along with cat cam ca which is the basic start of uh, moving to 3d correct uh 15 years back 12 years back we saw that there was no 3d printing but there was uh, there was no 3d printing but there was uh, actually uh, uh, the started first people used to uh, used autocad and after that they are slowly moving to 3d when the software like solid works pro e and all these softwares came into market and slowly they started adapting those uh, <coughs> solutions <coughs> so from that time i am into market and i have seen lot of ups and downs of the market how customers are reacting on accepting 3d 
uh, th that's a very uh, wonderful journey and uh, with full of experience and uh, it's a little bit funny also that people uh, that time uh, was not ready to accept the movement towards CD. They didn't understand why we are moving for CD and all. From that time, I'm into market and I'm implementing this kind of solutions in the market. I started my started my career with selling the world's most renowned uh, 3D modeling software called uh, SolidWorks, <clears throat> which is a most popular uh, software nowadays. So uh, after that, I slowly moved into CAD, CAM, then final, finite element analysis and all. And uh, after that, uh, we have uh, started uh, with our 3D printing venture. I have started my 3D printing venture. It's a very short profile. I don't want to get into more detail. <coughs> now, uh, it's a very uh, important, very easy and very easy to understand. And uh, figure itself shows that uh, what is a 3D printing market? See, ultimately, whatever you learn, Nowadays, it is very important worldwide that uh, if students are learning something, we are implementing something in our college. There are two things. One, Madan Mons had told that it should be act for the industry. What industry is thinking, we should train those things so that people can really pass out from the college and get into the industry. Second is that uh, up-to-date knowledge is very important. Not only a normal B-Tech or normal M-Tech uh, with only theoretical knowledge is nowadays, it is very difficult to manage, very difficult to get a proper job. I'm not talking about India also, worldwide. Because wherever you go, they will ask you that apart from your theoretical knowledge, what you know, which softwares you have worked with. Do you know uh, SolidWorks? Do you know Katia? Do you know Cree? Any Any one of these softwares? Do you know ANSYS? Do you know uh, MSA, FEA software? So according to the job profile, people uh, people are asking for. Nowadays, everywhere, wherever you are going to a good manufacturer or tire one, tire two companies like Maruti, like Volkswagen or something like that, they are always asking for one thing that uh, are you are you aware of uh, RED manufacturing? Are you aware of reverse engineering? These are two domains which is very much relevant in uh, today's market and people are always getting into the market so what happens is that uh, what happens is that based on that uh, 3d printing market a global forecast till 26 is 3d printing market is expected to reach 34.8 billion why we are coming to this financial figure we are coming to this financial figure because based on this financial figure we will see that this much market will be there means sidha and directly this much job market also will be there. <clears throat> it is growing at a rate of 22.5% from 2021 to 2026. So you see the rate of growth of 3D printing market because almost every industry starting from engineering, heavy machineries, automobile, aerospace, consumer product, even consumer product, medical, everybody is nowadays using 3D printing industry. It is very easy. Google is there with you everywhere. And people can understand if you just type uh, role of additive manufacturing in medical industry, load of manufacturing additive manufacturing in aerospace, it will show a huge number of papers, articles, and all. According to your level of knowledge, you can study that and you can upgrade yourself. <coughs> Sorry. So, first, North America started this revolution. They started uh, developing this, they started developing this uh, 3D printing industry. And uh, uh, the huge growth, like uh, prototyping, 3D printer development, manufacturing, everything started from North America and they started for tooling, for uh, multiple material discovery and all. This was growing adoption. Growing adoption was extremely high in... Uh, uh, sir, excuse me. Just a minute. Just a minute. <laughs> Sorry, sir. So they started plus the development of uh, growing the 3D printing industry. Growing adoption is also there. Strong government support. That is very important. When you are doing something in your country, government should uh, support them. And uh, I will uh, I will uh, show you that that why we are also started our organization because India government, uh, Modi government, they have started uh, supporting us for doing this kind of job, any manufacturing thing. So their North America government supported them that yes, you go ahead for 3D printing uh, and development. Or we will allow you to go to somewhere and uh, you uh, to reach somewhere. 
again some uh, statistical data uh, that uh, it will reach by uh, 79 million dollar by 2022 but as the situation stands india has already crossed this prediction indian now we are coming to indian 3d printing market we have seen the american 3d printing market almost uh, uh, worldwide 3d printing market now what about india our country because we are very much interested we are uh, faculty in a college we are uh, promoting some college or even even the person who are really commercially selling printers like us they are also interested printer or software or anything we are promoting students should learn that because our interest is it's a very straightforward interest that once the student knows when we started uh, selling solidworks in 2000 uh, 2000 like uh, before uh, 8 9 7 that time 5 that time then our target was academy because when students will learn this, students will learn this and industry will understand that wherever students are coming, they will pitch that this software is very good, sir. You use it, it will reduce your design cycle time, your production cycle time. It will help you to do the design properly, bill of material generation and all. So everywhere, wherever the company is developing something, they are interested to teach the students. And as per the prediction, $79 million, uh, sorry, $79 billion, million which is predicted, we have already exceeded that. Now, we are continuously conducting seminars. Industries are adapting 3D printing along with 3D scanning with reverse engineering. You will note one thing, whenever I'm talking about 3D printing, I'm talking about 3D scanning because that is very practical. Right? So, that is the thing. Now, Indian 3D printing industry is valued at $100 uh, million. Though it is quite small compared to many countries, it is always highlighted to potential industries. Dusra countries say which is small, but we are growing up. And we have a taken strategy. Our government has taken a strategy, national, uh, uh, national strategy for additive manufacturing in February 2022, where, where, uh, where people are uh, people are uh, very much interested on uh, doing this 3D printing industry and uh, growing this 3D printing industry. Okay, so that is very, very important that uh, Indian market is nowadays <coughs> getting the development of 3D printing industry and we are developing our 3D printing industry. APAC countries are developing their 3D printing industries. So, uh, yes, we will go to next slide. Sorry. <coughs> now, it's a very simple concept uh, which I want to explain that everybody knows also. But uh, still, uh, whenever we are discussing about 3D printing, we should discuss the addi additive manufacturing refers to the refers to the layer by layer production. What is the what are the steps? Very simple steps. Very simple uh, steps. We develop the CAT file. Uh, then uh, from the CAT file, we develop the STL file. And from the STL file, there is a slicing software which we which we use in case of uh, additive manufacturing uh, thing. Okay, that slicing software makes uh, the 3D printer. Uh, more comfortable to uh, take the file and uh, print it okay so what happens is that first step is we have to use a cad design software to use that automatic process of manufacturing objects part prototypes tools assemblies everything can be made through 3d printer and huge number of good 3d printers are there in the market worldwide market because all the foreign countries have developed uh, before us the 3d printers so they were much developed like scott crump has developed a particular technology called fdm so FDM was a copyright of Scott Crumb for 20 years. After that, Scott Crumb uh, is not there. Uh, their copyright is not there. So now a lot of people are experimenting on uh, FDM. But few are very cheap and very low quality. And few are industrial quality based on their production capability. <clears throat> okay. Now uh, it's very simple that we are <clears throat> doing the slicing part then building part and post-processing. So uh, everybody needs that, everybody thinks that, a lot of people think that only 3D printed parts directly can be used. Yes, uh, in some cases, uh, we must say that it can be directly used, but in some cases, you need some kind of uh, post-processing. Why post-processing? Because some kind of support material, some kind of uh, uh, things are attached to the 3D printer that has to be removed and you should do for post-processing. So we do that post-processing sometime, okay? So what happens is that next uh, we are coming to digital manufacturing, <clears throat> which is your subject, your uh, college's subject, your main uh, goal also. So why we are going to digital manufacturing? We were manufacturing in a proper way. We had a lot of CNC machines and all. Then why we are going for digital manufacturing? We are going for digital manufacturing because that it's a technology. Those can reduce the product development time. See, now it now eight days the market is very competitive. If you are manufacturing a bottle. 
there are hundred and thousand companies who are manufacturing a bottle. Even I have seen a company whom I have sold uh, is my customer in uh, Bangalore who, who who is manufacturing the cap of a bottle. Different companies are doing a lot of things. Cap of the bottle is manufacturing. And for that, he bought a 3D printer. For multiple design of caps comes to him. Multiple measurements and all. That prototype making, uh, for that prototype, uh, making that prototype, they uh, brought a 3D printer from us. So why I to, uh, why I'm telling, giving examples is that so the importance of digital manufacturing. Digital manufacturing is nothing but helping, uh, taking the help of digital software or hardware or a 3D printer, 3D scanner or CAD model, FEA model software to faster, make it faster, faster more production because market is very comp competitive. You cannot reach properly in the market on time, then somebody else will take your market. As simple as that. And when our students, again, it is linked to academic, when our students is going to have handle a production division, okay, or a design division, if he doesn't know all these technologies, then he will not be able to deliver properly to the uh, organization, to his boss, to his director, MD, whoever it is, then naturally he will be a failure. So he has to learn all this. So that's why all over India, we have a trend now to create a lab where we will have additive manufacturing, reverse engineering, CAT CAM, FEA, the total facility. Students can learn everything side by side with their course and then they get out of the, uh, then, they, then they pass out from the college and then they uh, take, get the proper job. So that is the purpose of mainly implementing. In a lot of ways, somebody is creating some idea lab, somebody is creating some kind of uh, COE lab. So based on the budget, based on the facilities, people are creating. All the colleges, universities are creating a lab <coughs> there. This is simply a process. I have already explained to you. I will not waste time on this. Now, regarding additive manufacturing, additive manufacturing has got, additive manufacturing is not that key, only GoGD is doing additive manufacturing, nobody else is doing. Additive manufacturing, first let us come to technology. Companies are coming much later. First is the technology. Worldwide, these technologies are very popular. One is stereolithography, which is basically uh, one is stereolithography, which is basically uh, the purpose of uh, basically printing. It's a stereolithography technology, industrial 3D printing process. It is used to create concept models, complicated models, because it is very soft. The resins are very soft. SLA materials are very soft. You can create a wide range of material, high temperature, low temperature, and use that. Similarly, there is another technology called SLS, which is basically selective laser centering. If you go and study, you will understand the metal, metal uh, 3D printers are using uh, this laser technology. See, metal printer is a very important uh, technology because people are directly uh, printing metal parts worldwide and using directly in their machines, in their technologies. So metal printing is very important. SLS is the laser centering process which is used by uh, metal. There is, there is other process also, DMLS and all, but I am not getting into those technical jargons. Metal printing has got, got a very good importance in this. But uh, the, only the disadvantage, not the disadvantage, but the point is that metal printers are very costly. So uh, keeping a metal printer uh, in a lab of a college is a bit difficult because it is coming around 1.5 to 2 crore or something like that. In one printer, your whole budget will goes up. Whenever you are taking budget from uh, government or DST or somebody to create a lab, then you have to complete the lab setup with the budget. Then you keep your metal printer, your budget goes to 4 crore, 5 crore and sometimes it is not sanctioned. Then we are uh, we are coming to fuse diffusion modeling, FDM. Now here is a question that uh, I will explain you later on that two technologies are highlighted here. That doesn't mean that these two technologies are good and balance are not uh, good. We as an organization, we can handle these two technologies. AK company, jo hai, they handle their own technologies. They have their own domain. We are uh, expert in these two technologies. One is SLA. Our is more advanced, MSLA. And another is fused diffusion modeling. That is FDM technology. So these two type of equipments, printers, you can get from us. Next is digital light processing. There are a lot of good companies who are using this digital light processing, a 3D printing technology. They are using this technology for this. Multi-jet fusion. They HP 3D printers, you know. I'm telling you brand by brand. No issue at all. There is no, no point of, when knowledge sharing, then there is no point of competition or something. There are HP printers, which is MJF. Again, they are very costly, but they are used in some nylon prototypes, typical type of nylon prototypes, like uh, very fast uh, printing a prototype in a day. Nylon prototypes can be printed. Printers are naturally uh, very costly. Again, Polyjet. Polyjet is a typical technology used by a company called Stratasys. 
who were the pioneer of uh, FDM technology, correct? And they are using this polyjet technology. This polyjet technology is very much used in medical segment, consumer products, like the, the, the consumer products companies like L'Oreal, then Imami, then these kind of companies are using this kind of polyjet technology. And this is the only uh, technology which is uh, which is given only by uh, Stardust. So, but again, I am uh, coming to the cost factor again and again, I am saying, this polyjet technology printers are very costly. The industries can afford it because it starts from 50 lakhs, 60 lakhs, something like that. But for teaching purpose, it is not very suitable because materials are also very costly. And these printers, the one disadvantage is they are not open source. Just remember that they are not open source. You have to buy every month, every time material from them only. And materials are huge, costly, like 30,000, 40,000 per school, something like that. But yes, based on the use, if somebody is uh, doing that kind of job, that somebody is doing surgical planning, correct, for a patient, for operation, then uh, no point, uh, means no point in not investing in this. They can invest it and they can use it. Huh. So when we started our uh, journey, uh, marketing, 3D, uh, modeling software uh, in uh, beginning of my career, we saw always there was a question that your uh, your 3D modeling software, can it develop a CNC program? Because that time, there was no additive manufacturing popular here. That was only CNC, CNC, and CNC. People used to do the subtracting manufacturing, which is called CNC. And how CNC operates, everybody uh, of you know, you are very qualified. And uh, CNC machines are basically subtracting. They are cutting the material. To be very frank, they are cutting the material with a program according to the CAD design and then making a product out of it. There will be a lot of material wastage and all these things. At that time, additive manufacturing was not there. But after that, when additive manufacturing came into market, it was shown that when you are making a product additive, through additive manufacturing, it is not cutting the material. It is not subtracting. It is additive. So, so additive manufacturing is adding layer by layer by layer and making a product, right? Like you see that uh, the people who make all the uh, statues and all, they create uh, slowly, slowly, slowly and build up. So additive manufacturing also does that layer by layer they do. So that is an advantage that there is no question of wastage of material. But at the same time, you have to think, I am here to just do the comparative study. But does it mean that CNC machines are obsolete? No. Yeah, according to all this, what I'm saying is my opinion. Somebody may differ. Okay. So uh, CNC machines are obsolete? No, CNC machines are not obsolete. Why? Because additive manufacturing is much, much more costlier than CNC machine production. When you are manufacturing 1 lakh product, 2 lakh product, something like that, huge machine, then you are doing that subtractive and then you are giving to factory and do so. The, so the factories, manufacturing factories are not closed. CNC machines are not closed. They are there. But additive manufacturing is just making the process faster. And at the same time, in a contradictory word, I can say that a lot of companies uh, worldwide, they are using additive manufacturing to create directly the individual parts. Like there are some companies who are making customized headphones like this headphones we are using, customized headphones. They are using additive manufacturing technology. They have multiple high-end 3D printers. And according to the customer's choice, they are designing their headphones and directly printing and giving it to the customer. But that is percentage is very less worldwide. In our country, that is uh, almost not there. If it is there, I don't know. Maybe somebody is doing it in some corner, but I don't know. But it is not there as a, as a very popular process. But as an end, end user parts manufacturing, additive manufacturing is used in foreign countries. Few big companies, they are using some consumer products companies, some kind of batch production companies. Uh, paas kya hota hai ki somebody is ordering only 200 products or 100 products. Like 100 mouse I want to print, a very special kind of a mouse. Just assume, a very special kind of a mouse, somebody wants to manufacture it, but they need only 50 pieces or 100 pieces. So there... If you go to manufacture like in a factory, uh, the cost will not uh, justify, will not be justified because for 50, 100, you have to have all the machines, all the post-production things and all that you can directly additive, uh, use the additive manufacturing, print it and give it to customer. So two points, I, uh, I repeat. One, advantage of additive manufacturing is it is adding layer by layer, no question of wasting material. Subtracting manufacturing, CNC manufacturing has got a disadvantage that uh, uh, there a lot of materials are wasted. At the same time, it doesn't mean that 
3D printers has come, that means manufacturing units and factories will be closed. It's not that because 3D printers and IIT manufacturing is not suitable for bulk manufacturing. If you are somebody, if you are manufacturing one lakh product, two lakh product, something like that, it is not suitable because the cost is high and you will not be able to compete. If you just manufacture one lakh 3D printed parts and want to sell in the market, your cost will be much higher than the competitors. So no point. So in that case, bulk manufacturing, you don't use 3D printer. You use 3D printer in that case for prototyping. Means when you are going for one lakh 3D printer, one lakh, sorry, one lakh uh, productions, one lakh number of production, then you use the prototype to make the perfection in the design, even for marketing to show it uh, to the customer whether it is correct or not. Actual sample is always better than the virtual, correct? So actual samples you are sending and they are seeing that, they are verifying it, they are approving it and then they are going for uh, one lakh uh, things. When you are manufacturing one lakh of some components and then they reject it, then it is very horrible, like right? it is problematic for you. It is a great loss for you. So that's why you are not doing it. You are prototyping, prototyping it with your 3D printer and then sending, approving and then it. So this step by step, you have to use it. Complex shapes. That's a very important concept. See, what happens is that uh, yeah, very complex, a lot of good shapes has been designed by CNC machines also in previous, I have seen previous days when I used to sell SolidWorks and other uh, CATCAM CLC softwares. But still, if you have a very complicated shapes of a bottle, of a car, of a car backlight, headlight or something like that. And uh, in that case, uh, it is very useful to use RAD manufacturing because whatever complication in your shape, RAD manufacturing can print it. Based on that, your complexity of the shape, what material you want, what temperature you want, that's an expertise, that's a practice, long time you have to do it. Based on that, you have to choose particular RAD manufacturing and based on that, you have to select. A particular material okay so complex shapes can be easily made by additive manufacturing subtractive manufacturing process have limited limited capability on complex shapes complex shapes only say it uh, doesn't uh, work very complex shapes it it comes with a lot of defects allowed additive manufacturing you will give you as it is <clears throat> then one another point is uh, which is i have star marked here that is volumetric density uh, which is in normal language uh, easy language which is for weight both they have so, uh, weight ko optimize karne mein, uh, it is very useful. Ki aap density of the object jo hai, usko change kar kar ke, aap sa software mein, aap prototype bana ke dekh sakte ho. Design optimization is a big word in nowadays. Please note it that design optimization is very important word in nowadays in design industry. There are certain companies who are only offering this service. They are offering, they are say DFM, design for manufacturing, design for IIT manufacturing. They have a division, they employ 10-15 people who are continuously working on the customer's project to how to optimize that product. Maybe one product is coming 5 kg weight as for example. Costing is coming around 100 rupees. After that, but with design optimization, you can reduce the waste to 3.5 kg. And costing will come approximately 75 rupees. So per product, you are saving 25 rupees or 15 rupees or 10 rupees, whatever it is. But when you are going to a bulk manufacturing, that saves a lot. You multiply 25 into 1 lakh. You will see that how much money you are saving. So that's why manufacturers are concentrating on design optimization. You have to optimize the design that with minimum use of material, you are maintaining all the parameters, which is factor of safety, safety, strength taking material, temperature sustainability, everything should be maintained. It's not that you are optimizing it, then it is failing. It's, you are not successful. So people are specializing on this subject. People are studying on this subject, design optimization and doing lots and lots of research projects on this. So this cycle is very, uh, very important to learn for all the uh, students and uh, faculties are almost, they know the technology. So it is our responsibility as an organization, your responsibility as faculty members to transmit this knowledge to students. So then in the job market, uh, they should not feel that, Are mujhe to hai ya kya hai se. design optimization. Kisko bolte hai yaar? When I'm going for an interview, people are asking, do you know what, what do you know about design optimization? How do you do the editing manufacturing? You tell me what is the use of editing manufacturing, but he's a very good uh, student. He has got uh, maybe 90% marks, but he doesn't know these things. He will not get a job. The market is coming. In fact, the market has come already that it will happen. Uh, next, how is this independent used in education? So education, may uh, it's very simple. There are two, three steps. You are teaching students. Faculties are first trained. Whenever we do some implementation, 
in some colleges there are some good colleges where faculties are very knowledgeable uh, a lot of faculties uh, uh, i i am thankful to them that uh, they are much much more knowledgeable uh, than me in it manufacturing and where i am going to install uh, there they teach me a lot of things okay so i am very fortunate and, and that's why i like to work with research people and academic people because ra rather than uh, teaching them we learn a lot of things from them like all the respected faculties are here who knows lot of more things uh, rather than me maybe one particular subject metal printing or any one particular design for manufacturing they know no much better than me so we always uh, we are very hungry to uh, go to them learn from them when they are taking the printer at least my opinion my intention is always to sit with them to talk to them sir what you have done with 3d printing manufacturing what are the projects you have done we ask this question sales come later if you take a printer from me that's very good thanks to him but he may take from somebody others he likes but every visit i personally say i am a very hardcore field uh, person i say every visit we learn especially in academic again i am mentioning especially is academic and research people research people and even industry people also every visit teaches us a lot of things rather than we are teaching to our customer customers are teaching us a lot of things and we have to agree that we cannot avoid that we cannot say that no i am going there i am a 3d printer expert and we are selling 3d printer so i am giving a lot of knowledge no ulta hota hai we get a lot of knowledge from the customer customer says if your material is like this then it will give you that output why don't you try because our printers has open source printer so we try to use that material so we are very proud and very fortunate that sir uh, all the faculty members here that uh, we get your company when we are going to your college we are visiting your college and uh, we are having a lot of discussion through full discussion with you and you are teaching us a lot of things i will not never say that i am teaching him okay so that's the thing printing aircrafts a lot of projects are there i have gone to bit mishra then in it jamshedpur then uh, then lot of lot of iits iit khadakpur specifically they are doing lot of projects iit kanpur so they are doing lot of projects on this kind of aerospace automotive uh, projects and student are doing projects and we have seen it so uh, <clears throat> almost 3d printing has endless capabilities that can be applied to any industry so here are some examples some examples we are giving you know these examples but all the industries again if you talk about because i am i am personally not very much interested about the job market for the student because i have seen in last few years how people are uh, how uh, how people are uh, facing job problems how students are uh, facing job problems so i am very much interested on uh, the generating the more and more job market for the people so uh, that is basically my purpose so I, i i always try to learn more and more on how i can apply or how i can tell people that uh, 3d printing uh, how it is applied for their industry for automotive for consumer goods for healthcare medical as i have already told you for gaming film art and industry you see a lot of hollywood movies nowadays like whether it is captain america or uh, this all the all those characters so they are uh, in in some case of arnold schwarzenegger also uh, we have used uh, people are using some 3d scanning and 3d printing facility for his costume or some artificial uh, dresses and all so in that case also 3d printing is used so you don't know where uh, your student will get a job if he is mastering this additive manufacturing technology along with uh, reverse engineering or uh, 3d scanning even in construction industry yesterday i was uh, learning uh, some i was reading some capital that concrete printing bangalore mein one company has i am forgetting the company's name bangalore mein there is a post office 1000 square feet post office new post office that has been 3d printed completely for your kind information maybe you have also gone through that article that they are not mm, making in a normal way you make a building they are 3d printing they have brought a big 3d printer and on the spot they are making that uh, building according to the design given by the architects they are building make they have already made they have already made the post office and uh, that's yet to be functional i think within few days the decoration will be complete and they will function they will work there the whole building is manufactured uh, through 3d printing it's a very good news i was so happy because i was so happy because india is doing it before this i have seen in lot of foreign countries it is happening the people are printing buildings printing bridges and all i i study those documents um, uh, but i am not so happy because our country is not doing i am a little bit uh, person who is interested on what my country is doing right everybody should be that i believe that because i am interested what my baby my 
son, my daughter is doing. Like countries, our uh, main, uh, I'm, I'm born and brought up here and I want my country to be developed. So what kind of development on this technology my country is doing? So I have seen yesterday that in Bangalore, I uh, read an article that in Bangalore, somebody is 3D printing a post office. So that's a very happy news. Slowly, uh, we are a company like Sika, who are very famous on uh, giving a lot of uh, materials and building like additives and all are very, very famous company, Sika. So they are also coming into 3D printing. In foreign country, they have come. India, they are slowly coming. <clears throat> so you first understand that what is the 3D printer? I, I, I want to skip this because I think uh, this is not a student session. This is a faculty session. So everybody knows what is a 3D printer, how it works and uh, affordable 3D printers, how it manufactures. There is a very small slide that where which is positioned mainly on the FDM printer. We have as we are specializing on FDM printer, industrial FDM printer, and we are specializing on large bed size printers like 1000 mm, 1500 mm, where the nozzle is positions and melted things. These are all technical jargons, but it's very simply drawn. That's why I was happy to show this uh, that people can understand very easily. This filament. The problem with this filament is that with the some of the foreign companies, I would not like to ethically want to take the name. They, have, they say that whenever you are buying our printer, you have to buy this filament, the material through which it is printed from us only. And that is huge costly. After one year, you will see that after project, karke, sab kuch karke, you are not getting a fund to buy only that printer for 5 lakhs or 6 lakhs. Whereas, whereas if it is an open source printer, whichever filament you want, you can use. You can open, uh, you can buy a little cheaper material from the market. Then for research project, doesn't matter. You can use it. So these kind of flexibilities were not there previously with the foreign companies. Now in India, we are developing a lot of printers where you can use open source. We can guide you which printer according to the parameter, whether it is TPU or PETG. I have a slide for material <coughs> which you are uh, which you should use. Uh, you have an extruder. Uh, I have shown you in the previous slides that you have an extruder through which the filament goes down and it prints it, whether it is single extruder, which is a double extruder. You can uh, use that. That is a 3D printer. Uh, how the 3D printer is work? There is a hot end tip of the extruder, which is very hot because the material has to be melted. You are uh, creating a shape somewhere, somewhere. So in that case, what happens is you have to uh, you have to melt that material because it is a like a wear, right? It is a it is a filament. So you have to melt it. So for melting it, very normal concept, common sense that you need a temperature. The tip of the nozzle, there is a high temperature. This is also a subject to be changed according to the project or research which you want to do. Some Somebody wants 150 degree temperature, somebody wants 250 degree temperature based on their project and the material they want to develop. So the extruder part, the tip of the extruder, which is hot, they build the material, then they slowly start. I have a video, I believe also how it is printing. I will show that. So build volume and uh, then bed. There is a bed. Bed is a very critical thing because on that it is printing. Like in our printer, we are using glass bed, which is very good. Uh, and continuously seven days in an ordinance factory, we have run that our printer and without stop and there is no interference and no problem. Then we have a cooling fan. Whenever you are temper uh, increasing the temperature to melt the material, as soon as you have to cool that because your melted material, if you print that, after that you do not cool that, it will not be hard and then your product will be not be developed. So you need a cooling fan for that. So there is a cooling fan and you are using that cooling fan. These are all the basic things of a 3D printing. Now, so now uh, my our, our, our vision is why uh, purposes of this is why go 3D. Okay. So why we should, you should come to our company. So we are basically who we are. We are basically uh, a company who are uh, manufacturing uh, industrial 3D printer, MSLA as well as FDM. So and uh, what is why we people should go for us is we are a make in India company. We have more than uh, 100 machines we have installed all over uh, India in different places. We, we more than uh, more than 81 good clients we have. And uh, we have uh, not only five here. It is written that five channel partners. We have more than five. We have almost seven, eight channel partners all over India. Because we, when we are we are manufacturing industrial 3D printer, we need channel partners to promote and as well as local support. More than promoting. Promoting nowadays online things are available. You can promote from your office. You can give a presentation like I am giving now from your office. 
But main thing after sales support. After sales support is very important for whether it is academic or industry connect or whatever it is. So for that, we have created our seven or eight printers in Hyderabad, in Bangalore, in Chennai, in Bhubaneswar, in Delhi. All the places we have uh, our own channel partners who are working. We have got sales and technical team and they are working on that printer. Why our vision? See, we saw that uh, there is a concept uh, by... Uh, new uh, India government that has Atman Irvar Bharati know that previously what happened is for everything, for each and every additive manufacturing component, each and every additive manufacturing printers or equipments or water or material, we used to depend on uh, this thing, foreign countries like US or Russia or somebody like that. But our goal was to create a, protect the integrity of India's aim, intellectual properties, as well as position India as a global hub of additive manufacturing development. Very important points. Very important points. You are not interested much to import materials, bring some foreigner guy here to do some additive manufacturing jobs and all. Our professors, our faculties, our researchers, everybody is helping in that that they are developing their own. Even somebody is there in CMA, I have seen this, sir. He has developed his own metal printer, not for sale, but for uh, but for uh, experimental issues and uh, research work and all. So our goal is to position India as a global hub of editing manufacturing. People should, uh, should not think about exporting their printer to us. People should think of coming to us for getting this editing manufacturing support, just twisting it 360 degree. It's difficult, I know, because they have come earlier. For 20 years, they are uh, selling their own printers, like uh, whatever the foreign companies, you know the names like uh, CDS Systems, Mark IV, Statasys and whoever it is. In fact, as far as uh, just to share you as my peers that uh, I have also long time for almost uh, 30, uh, 13 and a half years, I have sold this foreign printers. But when I uh, joined this organization, our Go3D Innovation LLP, ambition was only that, my mission was only that. To establish this first point, position India as a hub of variety manufacturing development. Every college, every uh, research people, everybody should have Indian 3D printer, but giving the almost the same output so that they can have two things. They can afford, they have a fund of 10 lakhs. When you will come go to 3D printing company like foreign companies I have named earlier, they will say, you know, my printer starts from 30 lakhs or 40 lakhs or 50 lakhs. So your, your project stops. So we are trying to tap that uh, area that no, I will give you a proper industrial 3D printer which will help you to do your projects with the open source material, with a proper industrial quality as well as proper training from our side, hand holding from our side and you achieve your goal and we also achieve our goal which is making our organization successful, making our product successful and making you successful doing your project successfully. So it's a wonderful, uh, wonderful uh, theme and vision our organization has got, which I am just following, and I am I am giving my all round effort uh, to to develop that. Okay, so so we want to we want to really develop <laughs> that concept to each and everybody. We are promoting that that take one thing. Unfortunately, we were starting, uh, we were trying for three D scanners also. But for 3D scanners, no, no Indian company is now uh, successfully making 3D scanners. If somebody makes, if you have any information, I would request you, please let me know. If some of the Indian companies making 3D scanners, I will, I will be the first person to market that. To make this mission successful. But I have not found a proper 3D scanner. So for 3D scanning, still we are dependent on, uh, dependent on foreign companies. So you see, after so much development, we are still 50% untapped we are still 50 percent uh, we are not successful we are making 3d printers but we cannot make 3d scanners very frank discussion nothing to hide be transparent that this is my limitation everybody should have that correct sir you people teach only uh, to us that uh, you should know your limitations your capabilities and you should match and you can develop your uh, capabilities and your uh, your reduce your limitations so that that is what we are trying we are struggling let's see what happens you also kindly help us for any idea. Uh, Madan Mohan sir has got my mail ID, mobile number, everything. I would request you everything. Anybody has got any idea that how to develop this, how 3D scanning is developed in India. Somebody is developing it. If you have any news, because you are, uh, I know you are from all India, please let me know. So <clears throat> we are targeting and ensure a sustainable ecosystem. So to develop, see, 
there is no point in only discussing about the jargons of technology. Extruder does what, what temperature and what. Whenever you are going to take a 3D printer, those discussions, those sessions automatically will be coming to whoever gives. Not me, not go city. Whoever is gives you, that discussion will automatically come. The, the, but we have to understand the purpose of That's why I thought it. Uh, I should keep this session as uh, that more of a, uh, that how we can make it global hub, how we transform the situation how we uh, how we get at the international job market in india market we should get the job what i think is that our students are if they if they're experts in the technologies they are not why should they uh, wait for only indian jobs they can get international jobs all the successful people like sundar pichai and all you know they are all indians so and they are going to multinational companies and helping their uh, this, delivering their uh, this thing. So why not we help us uh, to grow them? The objective is that only enhancing the scopes in the domestic and international market, and we encourage across the value chain manufacturer and IT manufacturing to adapt Indian 3D printers, making 3D printers or additive manufacturing technology to develop their things. The polytechnic students also. We'll adopt this. Somebody says that only IIT is, it's a very wrong concept I've seen in the market, practically. Everybody seeing that only the NIT and IITs are uh, capable of handling uh, 3D printer. Nothing like it. The small private college, the polytechnic uh, colleges, which are huge in Indian market, uh, they are also, can they can also use a 3D printer, IT manufacturing for their mechanical, electrical, electronics, civil, still now I have not seen anybody giving civil, but one that Bangalore company is giving or architectural things. Architecture may only if you have to use concrete, uh, that is not that. In plastic printers also you are doing a lot of low scale models of architecture. You can do that. Somebody if you're interested for architecture, please come back to me. I will give you a detailed session on how architecture department can uh, use uh, or archaeology department can use 3D printer for digitizing their data and showing their data to customers or students. As I was telling, for giving support, uh, uh, we are having uh, all the way, all the, all India partners. I am sitting in Kolkata and I am heading the sales department for all over India. And uh, for West Bengal, Bihar, Jharkhand, we are operating from Kolkata. We have our, our office, our partner in Bhubaneswar. We have our partner in Bohati. We have in Hyderabad, Chennai, Bangalore, Pune, Ludhiana. So almost Delhi also, I missed that. So it's a capital. So everywhere we have, so everywhere, wherever you are, all these, the, all the people, respected faculties who has participated, wherever you are, please get in touch with me. I will assign my partner who will go there. Or if he's not available for the timing, I will directly interact with you and give you support. I make sure. These are the uh, some of the some of the uh, printers which we are uh, which we are uh, handling. I means not handling. We are manufacturing. We are very much specialized on customized bed size three D printers. We can do up to you see the last one go three D customized machine up to fifteen hundred by fifteen hundred by fifteen hundred mm. Lot of people has got when I used to sell some of the foreign brands. A lot of people approached me. Why do you give me a one meter size uh, bed size 3D printer? And the foreign company has got that also, that printer, but it is costing approximately 1.5 crore in which you can buy a metal printer or 1.2 crore. But we are giving a bigger size bed size successful uh, 3D printer at a much cheaper cost, which can be afforded by a research academic people who, whose funds, projects are limited, and but they want to do some good projects. So we are specializing, specializing on that uh, large size printers and all. Our open filament system is a very exclusive system which people can use. They can use any material after they buy printer from us. We will give support for, for one year or three year, whatever AFC they do. But at the same time, it is not uh, mandatory that they have to take my material only from my, me only. And it's a huge costly 30,000, 40,000 schools per schools. So 30,000 per schools material, if you buy, if you see one year you're using a costly printer, or you have used it for one year. After that, when the material finish ups, then uh, your students or your uh, PhD uh, fellow, he says that I need material, this, 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 five types of material. You will see that uh, AKH Pulka 30,000, 40,000, total 4, 5 lakh ka agaya. And in, especially in government, Government colleges, uh, they have to again apply for the fund for that. And then the approval, then the tender project. Rupa hua hai. But uh, in case of open source printer, you can buy any printer from that and you can continue the project. Even if 
if you guide us, we will supply the material without keeping our even margin also. We will help you to use that material. So our feature is industrial grade machines with affordable pricing. Affordable pricing at industrial, these are two contradictory words. We are giving industrial quality and affordable price. You don't have to spend one crore, two crore, 1.5 crore lakh, which is in lakhs. And though on the lower size, like 15 lakhs, 20 lakhs, 10 lakhs, something like that, we are giving our printers, which is functionally same as the imported printers. Large volume printers is our specialty. 100, uh, sorry, 1500 mm bed size, 1000 mm bed size, something like that. Applications of 3D printer, uh, yeah, I have already told you that uh, sand investment casting, foundry people are using a lot of 3D printer. Somebody is using product development. When they are using the product development, in product development, what happens is that each and every time you have to change the design because you are, you are developing a new product, whether it is a new car, whether it is a new bike or, auto, or, or a new craft, aircraft. In automobile, it is a very good example that every time you are creating a new car, you see every day you are getting a new model, new Alto, new Celerio. Right, which are which are uh, with the different uh, features, cosmetic features. Though the engine capacity is that same 1200 cc, like the uh, the other technical systems are same, but they are changing the backlights, they are changing the bonnet shape, they are changing the other other parameters, cosmetic parameters, and they are bringing up a, a open roof. This kind of features they are giving. Like Hyundai has uh, brought a new car, which is open roof one. Yesterday I was seeing. Uh, somebody is, was using that for uh, campaigning or something like that. So uh, that uh, that technology is continuously developing, and all the OEMs, all the OEMs. If you back check all the OEMs, like Aap uh, Manlo, Ki Maruti, and all these things, everybody is you. Everybody. Uh, Everybody is using that technology, uh, the additive manufacturing technology. Kisi na kisi ka printer they are using it for de developing this uh, product manufacturing, whether it is metal printer they are using, whether it is plastic printer they are using. So these things are very important in case of product manufacturing. Jigs and fixtures, who are using jigs and fixtures. Jigs and fixtures has got a very practical use. That jigs and, jigs and fixture, uh, somebody uh, has got some important uh, imported jigs and that is out of order. If he has got the drawing and measurement, and the material of that material property of that jigs he can make inside his factory and just uh, plug and play a very important features i have some uh, one or two slides on that and end user part end user part is still a uh, limited use people are using worldwide a lot of big organizations are using somebody i have seen a case study of a company that they are using 10 uh, high end 3d printer and continuously printing end user parts but that is number is very less but yes slowly the days are coming and people will uh, have a clean and clear factory, having 10, 15 3D printers and manufacturing something. Days are coming, but that will take time in their market because we have other problems. We cannot, uh, we cannot uh, avoid our labor uh, things. We cannot reduce the labor like that. We cannot take somebody's job or something like that. See, uh, now we are coming to one by one example industry wise because it is an industry connect and academic kind of a presentation. Mother Mohan Sarah has requested me. Casting people are using this CD printer. How casting people are using this CD printer? You see the left uh, leftmost corner upper uh, picture. The right one is uh, the actual casting, and left one is the prototyping of that. Foundry people face a lot of problem while casting. Who pattern banana ke liye dete hain and they give it to their outsource, uh, they outsource to their vendors. Then they hang them. Then they say saat din mein hoga. Fir then they hang them. Then say no, dus din mein hoga and all. And they are, uh, again, they do something and they give them defective. After that, again, they have to change or something like that. That is not done. So 3D printer is usually used by foundries. They are using a lot of things. You sand casting examples you are seeing. And in the right side, you are seeing investment casting examples. Before they do the investment casting, all the prototypes has, prototypes has been uh, prepared. Prepared, see, here uh, with the 3D printer. Then next phase, which I told product development. See, a lot of people are nowadays, you see the right side uh, photo drone. So drone development has got huge uh, role. I have I have made uh, how many? More than 10 people who are manufacturing drones. They are startups, but they are buying and investing behind 3D printer to just to develop their product, their wing and all. And in drones industry, people are uh, calling us, people are taking interest uh, with us because we are having large size printer. So one more, one point, they have to uh, they 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 can print a larger uh, component 
they don't have to print it piece by piece and then they add up they can just print a, a large component at the same time time saving and with the same quality with high temperature with gpu or carbon fiber and they're printing it they're using it so product development has wonderful things then concept design validation design validation ke liye some telephone uh, directory some headphone shape from uh, checks from shape shape checking plug and play checking everything 3d printer is used now this is a very interesting especially i have a lot of interest in uh, this slide jigs and fixtures so in, in this uh, uh, tooling uh, manufacturing in manufacturing what happens you see uh, all the photos you are seeing you can understand these are termed tools okay maybe these tool is a imported tool and it is out of order after that but you have the drawing and design everything from the tool if you buy properly from a proper company they will give you drawing and everything now you have that you have digitized that drawing in your digital life this is a very new concept in today's world digital library of your product like we have a library for books we have we can have the library for engineering design so whenever whatever components i have bought thousand components maybe in my production unit throughout the year or 100 components or 500 components now what happens is each and every drawing if i digitize it next time maybe i have bought 100 components with one component is out of order and then i have to order uh, to some outside country they will take times of 4 to 6 weeks then it will come then will, they will ship it then i will do the customs clearance then i will take the thing and then i will use mera production tab to band hai i am i am uh, i am uh, losing uh, lakhs of money per day if you digitize that drawing library a lot of big companies lot of petrochemical companies lot of engineering companies pipeline big pipeline those who are having mines and all they are trying to digitizing their products drawings in a library and whenever they want uh, they, there is some breakdown there is some problem they just take the drawing they have a very good quality 3d printer they print that and they use it in a factory see they are using all these tools and jigs and fixtures they are using see there is a beer uh, companies who are regularly manufacturing thou lakhs of bottles there are some of the spare are out of order normal import will take 15 days or 20 days or one month they are in one day they are manufacturing that jigs that fixture or that tool that fitting up and using it you have tool organizers tool organizers tool organizers are safety devices they are also using it on a regular basis they have digitized their drawing and they are using it so again i am coming to a again and again after three four slides i'll come to a same point so i think as a faculty member you can understand how much job opportunity is there all these companies all these companies who are using 3d printers they need one person to use that that may be your student your college student that's why we say learn 3d printing and learn properly and learn all the applications because when you are coming out from a college uh, having the certificate b or b tech or m tech certificate you don't know where you will get a job you may get a job in consumer products industry will you leave that job with a good salary no 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 i don't understand this industry so now it is it is coming that you have you have to understand each and every industry you cannot say i know only automobile i know only aerospace i don't know no you have to overall know all the industries so that in the job market you are fit and fine in each and every scope you will say yes yes i know na that how jigs and fixtures companies are using it you want me to do that you want me to digitize your thing yes i can do it i know cad i know cam i know i, I know plm software i know finite element software yes you give me the tool give me the software i will design i will do the drawing i will digitize and i will myself 3d print it give me a 3d printer i will 3d print it and give it to you use it whether it is consumer product whether it is beverage company whether it is automobile company everybody so everybody your job market is open so it's open it's open you can easily get it if you learn proper things as per the age as per the proper market yes this is a very good uh, uh, again again uh, very good application induce parts i told you still it is very less in the uh, world market but yes use is there so some custom custom kind of a part if somebody wants to print they he will not go to factory for print that some small batches see the left one ekdam left corner mein dekhiye jo photo hai usme dekhiye 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 aise karke 25 banana hai suppose 25 so for 25 we will not go to a factory and uh, if you go to a factory also pehle to hum log factory mein jaate the if we go to a factory also they will get lot of money lot of time wasting then aapko hang karega fir you will depend on him 
एंड देन विल से नहीं सात दिन में होगा फिर बोलेगा नहीं दस दिन में होगा वही पैटर्न मेकिंग की तरह हो गया सो वाई आई शुड है सी प्रिंटर आई विल सिंपली प्रिंट इट एंड गिव इट नो इश्यू एट ऑल सो फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रोडक्शन यूनिट एंड यूजर जिसको ट्वेंटी फाइव बनाना है फाइव हंड्रेड और समथिंग लाइक दैट टू फिफ्टी समथिंग लाइक दैट टेक अ डिलीवरी टाइम Print it, give it, no issue. You will have the same quality, same perfect output. I challenge you, same quality output as it is manufactured. So again, product development cycle. Everybody knows that zigzag picture. I have told lot of zigzag pictures in drone industry, customized, some ergonomic feature. You want to change the feature, you do some mold tools kind of a thing. Three D printing is just amazing in these industries. Now the question is material. Very important chapter, which I told you also uh, in my initial stage of presentation that our printer is a open source presentation. This these are very common material. This is not that only our solution. This is a normal. My presentation today is not highlighting my product, highlighting the industry, highlighting the domain. So these are the product which is generally used for prototyping: PLS, EF, PET G, ABS, carbon fiber, PEEK, TPU, Altem. Altem is a biocompatible material. Medical people use it. If somebody wants to have an injection syringe uh, and use it for a medical purpose, he has to use a material. He it's non-toxic and lot of other features, no side effect and all. If he inject something through that tool, 3D printed tool, customized tool, your body should accept that. Your skin should accept that. So scientists and biomedical people, engineering people, all sit together and develop this kind of uh, material. Develop this kind of component, which can be used in customized medical operation or surgery or something like that. So, material, material, material is a very, very important thing in additive manufacturing. And uh, I think it's a huge subject. I also don't know, but very, very little percentage I know. I am telling you, I am admitting that very little percentage in my last seven eight years. Still, lot to know. And uh, maybe one particular material, you know, I don't know. That is a very good material. Somebody, some customer, I will give you a case study. Some customer called uh, me from uh, Delhi um, three days back. He told me that I am a briefcase manufacturer. Okay, so I have seen that he was specializing on large bed size three D printer like fifteen hundred mm or thousand mm or something like that. So uh, I I want to take your uh, printer, but my question is I want to print PP material polypropylene, which is not there in this list. You see, so it is out of the box material. He wants to print. So I told him, you give me two days time. Okay, I will search a proper polypropylene material, PP material for you. I will test in our machine, and I will do a small benchmark, and I will show you that how it is printing. You decide it. So I took two days of time. I gave it, gave it to my technical director, technical team. They did the R and D with that. We have a separate R and D team and manufacturing unit in Gujarat, Ahmedabad. So uh, we are slowly planning to open our office in Kolkata also, where we will have our printer and all, and we can show it to you if you come. So uh, all over India, slowly we will have our uh, demo setup. What you can see, or uh, or uh, it's a it's a uh, presentation setup where you can go and see how it is three D printing and all. So anyway, so we uh, we tried that, we tried that, and uh, we did the R and D, and we successfully printed a product, and uh, we told the customer, see your PP material. If you use this particular material, which is a German material, if you can use it, we researched and we found out. That if you use this material, your uh, material which you want to print is printed, and you will get it. So if you if you buy our printer, we will uh, we will customize that printer. Our, we will customize our printhead and everything according to according to uh, your material, and we will uh, we will give you a thousand mm uh, kind of a bed size. So he is very happy. Now he is saying that yes, I am going to get an order very soon, maybe July end or something like that. As soon as I get the order. And the fund will also will be there. I will put a, a place an order on you for this customized material, which I hope a uh, lot of people cannot do in India. We are we are proud that we have R and D center and we are doing it according to the customer's requirement. So material is very important. The uh, the based on the point I told you this lot of things. Material is very important and our printers and uh, we can do lot of uh, this thing. So uh, some photos of key depository. Now I will show you four or five slides, which uh, nothing to be told much, but it is already self-explanatory that how they are using. They are using as a self-depository, uh, uh, which they can bring from the market buy, but they are just 3D printing it and using it. 
see how they are using it somebody somebody is using this for lock when 3d printed safety lock preventing machines from starting in the maintenance maintenance time mein kya hota hai ho sakta hai na it's a machine some automatic uh, switch starts or something like that it will be a life uh, dangerous for uh, human life who are maintaining that machine oiling over oiling that opening the things and all so this is a lock printed by a 3d printer fdm 3d printer and uh, which is uh, locked and the people are safe see i was uh, showing a small photo about this this is a 3d printing functional parts remove the design constraints associated with traditional manufacturing process functional part this is a functional part which has been installed here you see that 3d printed functional part which is installed for that this is a real life case study where factory was closed for two days after that the three because the person whom uh, they were uh, trying to import that he was saying after 25 days you will get it so what they did they had a very good uh, 3d printer they printed that with the same drawing and design and started their factory and they never bought that again whenever they have the breakdown then they digitize their whole library and uh, whole uh, designs and they put it in the library whenever there something breakdown is there within one day two day they print it and they use it what a wonderful concept again that is atmanirbhar uh, india means when, if it is an indian company then we can make it in our organization also you can understand this color seeing that color 3d printed functional replacement part this part is also maybe a imported part just for example i am showing it see this part was broken we have 3d printed somebody has 3d printed it and fixed it up here and machine is running first class only you have to know the drawing design material property of that component which is originally used and almost every tool every fixture uh, whenever we buy some tool or something like that they give the drawing for that so we can digitize it another important part uh, i will very take very small time though it is additive manufacturing but i cannot stop michael talking about 3d scanners while talking about additive manufacturing whenever whichever college uh, from you are sir uh, i would like to tell you that if you are creating a lab you always have a 3d printer along with the 3d scanner because 3d uh, additive manufacturing and reverse engineering are two side by side complementary industry which students can get a lot of jobs people are there bahut log aise hai jo log abhi scan karke fir uska 3d print karke beech mein uska software laga ke design karke uh, they do the analysis and then they do the 3d print and then they use that the whole cycle and they want a guy who knows all these things cad cam see then reverse engineering how to use a handle 3d scanner or tripod based 3d scanner how to do the 3d scanner how to generate the point cloud data how to do the reverse engineering in a reverse engineering software how to generate the stl file and how to print and do the prototype this total cycle so if you teach that in your college to you take from anybody from any organization i don't mind but if you teach it i think indian students our college students will have a huge huge job market in international market even in indian market that's my opinion from my long uh, 15 years of experience uh, in selling these products these are some of the slides uh, it's already 11:20 some of the slides which are uh, how people are using 3d scanners i will not uh, waste much time you can use in again like additive manufacturing you can use this in aerospace transportation consumer product b2b blah education heavy industries healthcare heritage preservation everywhere you can get a job and engineering is doing i have seen an engineer is doing a heritage preservation kind of a job scanning konark temple with a 3d scanner because his engineering concept is essential to do that reverse engineering then keeping that data preserving the data and then create the actual output that is very important there are a lot of Uh, detail things i am not going to that some other session if you are interested let me know i'll go to a particular uh, particular session on reverse engineering particular session on uh, medical healthcare how they are using reverse engineering and uh, this thing multimedia how they are using every industry i have uh, non uh, functional uh, presentations and all i can do whatever uh, field you are interested i am very happy and i, I am very much uh, fond of giving a presentation to people because this is the only way Uh, like you people are my, maybe more than 100 or uh, something uh, people are there senior people are there faculty members are there whom i am interacting i am giving a presentation i am proud of it 
and i'm thankful to uh, anurag uh, university and especially to madan mohan sir he is uh, behind me that you have to give this presentation and uh, we will discuss on the topics and all so all, all over india faculties are coming i was very much uh, greedy uh, i should say to give this presentation opportunity so uh, i'm very happy so you will get all my details from madan mohan sir any kind of concept it's not that if you are calling me if you are mailing me you have to buy from my organization any kind of concept you can discuss with me yeah. so that's the whole thing uh, almost and uh, we are uh, just one sec i will take uh, we are partner of uh, hexagon uh, you have you know what is hexagon hexagon is a multinational 5.2 billion uh, selling brand company worldwide who are specialized on hardware like cmm cd scanners and as well as softwares just one slide i want to show once more that uh, software specialized softwares for welding specialized softwares for uh, manufacturing forming forging material analysis uh, linear and non linear analysis mark almost everything i can give a whole one hour of session on this if you are interested later on but uh, i i think uh, madan mohan sir i should hand over to him and uh, thank you all again for uh, participating in this presentation uh, my numbers and everything is there and you will get it from madan mohan sir whenever you are required thanks and you can ask any question if you have and uh, otherwise over to madan mohan sir uh thank you very much sir for your insight session okay you are filled a uh, gap between some education to the in industry so Go because ahead, uh, we are we are all enthusiastic like we know what is sla what is fdm what is the exactly. basic basic thing but how we are going to fill the gap between the institution with i the was i was i was that's why sorry to yeah, interrupt you i was i was not interested of technical jargons yes, that's why yes, i have kept yes. only one slide yes, if i right. discuss sls 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 no yes. point i have to use the yes. overall market sir yes, how yes. students can get the so, job yeah. yeah jobs that is the main thing so i, I yeah. hope that i hope that all the participants uh, gone through this and also they will develop their own uh, labs uh, research labs in 3d printing in your uh, they, their own institutions because nowadays the conventional mechanical uh, engineering is going to convert from conventional to digital mm. okay that is the main thing main motto of Perfect. that right now so yes, and also yes. we are we are implementing anurag university we are implemented artificial intelligence also yeah yeah in mechanical okay, okay, okay we are doing okay. that works okay. yeah yeah so let so, me know sir if you need any help from my side because i am doing lot of a lot of ai jobs uh, from hexagon yes yes and one more thing i am requesting participants uh, is there any doubts you can unmute your device and uh, you can uh, ask sir if you have any query please you can ask any query related to industry or related to technicality or related to 3d printers so you can ask sir okay uh, by unmuting yourselves and also you can chat in chat box so behalf of you i will definitely ask sir one request from my side uh, kaushik sir so you yes, can yes. share your ppt okay with me so because yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, asking, no uh, yeah every speaker uh, to share the ppt see okay, if i are, if, I, uh, their, if yeah. i share the ppt it is very big in size i will hmm. make a pdf and share it to you yeah whatever so you can you, so you can very can. well the yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. the context sir means whatever the topics you are covered na sir the technical topics are this one yes, yes, so yes, they yes, have yes. some attach, assessment test also so at correct, the end of correct. the fdp so that's why i'm i'm, I'm, I'm requesting yeah. you to i am uh, that's why i am requesting you to please share your uh, ppt so i will share with you all i i i will share i will all share a pdf so everybody can see you can share with anybody yes yes my and contact details everything is there oh uh, everything will be there they, they, can, they can approach you if they require i will just whatsapp you after this uh, meeting only right sir thank you sir thank you and one is there any questions from the participants uh yeah one question from uh, rashekar reddy sir okay hmm. can 3d printer cost reduce further in future because of uh, उंटेड so there is a 1000 mm bed bed size uh, printer which we are manufacturing and some imported uh, some foreign companies is also manufacturing they are selling that printer in 1.2 crore plus tax plus delivery charges and all we are giving that same 1 meter printer within 20 lakhs so answer is for you is there same functionality same everything and also uh, i am requesting participants that uh, arun reddy sir has posted to 
posted a google form feedback form uh, in the chat box okay so if you don't have any questions you can fill the google form and also you can uh, leave the meeting sir and uh, two o'clock we are having another session on uh, uh, like a uh, lab session like cpdm lab at osman university sir is going to share all the uh, technicality and with the machines also demonstration session will be there at two o'clock that is that is with which yes. session sir two o'clock that that is two o'clock uh cpddm sir the center for product design development in okay. additive manufacturing that is usman university so, so from can the i lab also itself, participate so, in that yes yes you can, can you can participate same link sir same link you same can link? use this oh, okay link, yes. okay i you want to know uh, what they're explaining and all I want yes, to yes, yes 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 uh, yes i will participate uh, yeah. yeah professor professor l shivarama krishna sir is giving Today's Wonderful. demonstration with their PhD Wonderful. student. Okay, Wonderful. Wonderful. so yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like so, to participate. Definitely, and based on that, uh, if anyone required, they can use the facility at CPDDM in the Spanish city. Oh, right. Wonderful. So, uh, sir, uh, with your permission, I will leave, Madam Moon sir. Uh, I think we'll ask one more time. If there are any questions from the participants, queries. If no, then uh, you can fill the Google form, sir, and uh, you can leave the meeting, sir. For the participants. Yes. Okay. Yes. So thank you very much, sir, for accepting uh, my request. Most welcome, most welcome, sir. And very definitely nice. looking look further. Okay, for some advanced topics like you said now at the end of the meeting today. So definitely yeah. with the hexagon related and whatever the buildings and everything. So we look forward. Uh, yes, yes, yes. To yes. This. And also one question from the uh, yeah yeah. Ah, yeah job yeah. opportunities. Yeah, yeah. Job opportunities. Sir, I have already explained uh, many times in my presentation, but still, it's a very good question that somebody is taking interest that uh, job opportunity. Yes, I have told uh, definitely that uh, if normal uh, uh, mechanical or electrical, I I I uh, I just uh, demand, uh, not only my opinion, I demand that each and every department, whether it is mechanical, whether it is electrical, whether it is civil, whether it is mechatronics, nowadays should learn additive manufacturing if they really want to get a good job because whenever now interview will come people will ask that you know you are a very good civil engineer you are a very good electrical engineer do you know how to do a additive manufacturing how to do a prototyping or how to do a reverse engineering on analysis so these subjects virtual prototyping and actual prototyping you should learn and my advice is that you teach your students if you really want your college should have a good name on placement and they should give a good job yes sir and one more thing, sir. One more question from Syed Sohail, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. How are internal features scanned with 3D scanners, sir? No, internal features means uh, 3D scanner is always a very, very simple concept. I would like to tell you. 3D scanner scan concept, if it is a human being, if I scan, try to scan Mother Moon, sir, also. If I try to scan an instrument also. Very simple concept. Keep that in mind, sir. That you can scan only the things, the object uh, which you can see. 3D scanner is not an MRI. So like MRI you go inside system? your brain. And yeah, that, yeah. that MRI which you uh, do MRI, medically. MRI, 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 yeah. Which you do medically, right? But in medical also, 3D printer can help. That MRI data, diacom data you can take and for surgical planning, you can print it and show your patient this is your heart condition and uh, this is the situation uh, and we will operate. That's it. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. I think uh, in addition to the 3D scanner will scan in the two planes. It means so uh, one in one view it will scan for two planes and another view. Correct. It requires Correct. two views. Okay. To get two the views. Yeah, yeah. Handle scanner you can scan very easily. A layman also can scan and then yes. you can match with the previous product and all and you can do it very well. And sir, I would like, like to request you that any kind of this kind of discussion session, you let me know. If I am not traveling, I will participate. Yes, I love to participate. Definitely, definitely sir. Definitely. I think Thank you have you an appointment much. next year, right? I think <laughs> yesterday you told uh, me. Right? Yeah. Okay, sir. Sorry, sir. That I have shifted and, uh, for I your uh, presentation. Is... <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I don't think, sir, uh, all the questions are covered. We are. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, right. Thanks sir. a lot Thank to everyone. Thank you, Thanks yeah. a lot to everyone. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye. 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 I will uh, join in the 2, 2 p.m. session. Yeah. Sure, de definitely, sir. Uh, Arun, sir, uh, you have given time for participants to fill the feedback form. Up to 11.40, right? Hello. Okay. So, I think uh, I am requesting the, all the participants that Arun Reddy sir has posted in the chat box, uh, Google form. Okay. Up to 11.40 a.m. You can fill the Google form, sir. Okay. Feedback form. And this considered attendance also. Thank you.